Welcome back to Let's Play Trine 2. Um, I'm sorry. You did a thing terrible. Because we were fooling around a little bit and I freed I freed this folder. It it was at one point. It used to be up here and there was a giant rock wall blocking it from falling out, and I magic Pontius's hammer into the rocks, and then it was free. So now you all know the story. No, come back. I need. Wait, I need it, you. Bring it over here. Ah, I'm gone. Bye. No oh. boulder co- Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> That'll teach us to. Do things. There's a checkpoint up here. And there's something over there. And I'm fearful of it because I can't see a thing. Oh! Oh, there we go. I'm going over here. I'm just gonna stand here. Ah! Yeah, I'm just gonna keep shooting arrows at him. No ogre. And he's dead. Yay, none and of us died that I way. think that's the first time we've killed one of them without dying. I think it is. We're getting better at this, maybe. Maybe. Maybe that was just luck, though. I leveled up. Oh my goodness. Oh. Jeez. So did I. I leveled up. I have, I have four skill points. Can I get low gravity field? I can. I can't because you have some mystical DLC that happened. Yeah, we were we were trying to figure out why like half of her skills were locked and half of mine weren't, and we figured out it's because there uh, there was an kind of an update to the game that sort of combined the base game with one of the DLC, rebranding it as trying com trying to com the complete story. Yeah. But due to some weird error or something, every version was called Trine 2 The Complete Story, even the versions that weren't. Yeah. So, so I apparently have the complete story, and despite that it says she does, she doesn't. Somehow. However that works. I have low gravity field, and I don't know what it does. Shoot low gravity arrow. Oh my. Oh, please do it. We. <laughs> I'm so bell owl. <laughs> Look at. Oh no. <laughs> my body. Oh my. This is most certainly a thing. I I can understand why that's in the DLC. That was most certainly not in yeah. the base game. How are we supposed to get up? I can swing over and get on top of that plant. But... You should totally shoot your gravity field, like, right there, and then swing up into it, and then maybe it'll, like, slowly propel you up. I, like, lose all momentum. Uh, oh, what oh. the crap! <laughs> look at his- look at his bullets going super uh. slow. I don't know what happened, why I spontaneously flew. Okay, I'm going to get killed by this thing Lord. so horribly. <laughs> I am going to get killed by this thing so horribly. I have no idea how we're supposed what? to do I have no idea how we're supposed to do this, by the way. Look at that thing go. Okay, I'm just gonna put my low gravity field somewhere over there. 
Um, and I'm just gonna box up this thing. Alright, have fun. I somehow got over with the low gravity. You did! Okay, now I'm hitting something and I don't know why. Come on, Zoya, get up there. Oh, what the crap? Why is it being so picky about whether or not I get up there? Just let me over the stupid thing! Thank you. We... The path stops here, and it's a long way down. How am I going to get away? Help me, little tree. Grow your branches long and strong so I may pass. Isabel? She made the tree grow. As if by magic. I propose that the rest of this game is done in low gravity. <laughs> the heroes Shoot it had discovered that Isabel was indeed Rosabel's sister. The journey back to Rosabel's house took the trio down the side of a mountain and through the perilous haunted forests. Now their progress was made swifter, for it seemed as if the whole forest had come alive to help them get back safely. Hoping to catch Rosabel off guard, they made their way to a balcony high atop the petrified tree. And you know, I think it would have been cool if they let us actually play through some of that. Yeah, that would have been neat. Instead Let's of storm this lair. Instead of we're just kind of here. Ooh. That was kind of a gimme. She doesn't look too happy. No. It's kind of sad. They look so happy together. Wait! There's something behind this picture. Look here. Look through this low gravity. Oh my! I've discovered a portal. Oh dear. A portal of low gravity. I'm in! I'm just gonna say I don't know where I'm going, like... but I'm in! Princess Isabel! Your saviors are here! Your Majesty, wake up! Can you hear us? Are you hurt, Princess? We'll free you in a moment. The heroes yelled and called for the Princess. But she did not stir from her death-like slumber. She can't hear us. She seems unconscious. Of course, the enchanted sleep spell. It's almost irreversible. You shouldn't be here. So, the artifact of souls is bound to you three. I wonder what happens to it when you all die. The artifact will never help you. You'll never get away with this, whatever your crooked plan is. Silence, you rabble! I didn't intend for the forest to steal Isabel's powers. But with your artifact, I can bring order back to this land. First, I need to get rid of you three. Let me introduce you to my little pet. <laughs> Oh dear. Hello again. I feel like we've met. Oh no. Oh, no. Not the dragon. Yeah, this is a real dragon, by the way. Not one of them What's hurting it? Me it's shooting it in the hearing. face is what hurt what's hurting it. <laughs> Ow. Ooh, I'm just gonna chill over here. I'm just gonna keep shooting you in the face. Oh, it had a. Uh... Oh crap! It had charms on either side of its head. Yeah, you can actually see the charms in the little graphic in the upper right corner. The lit things are what we're shooting for. Oh, there's a guy here. 
I seem to be safe-ish in this corner. There are splody barrels. There are, and I'm trying very hard to hit that one earring. You think you could injure my pet? His I'm trying. Will is bound to my will. His strength to my strength. Well, I guess we'll shoot you. Pretty sure I can get an arrow over there. Thank you, I finally broke that. Ooh, shoot. Go now and run them through. Oh no, this isn't gonna end well for me. I gotta get over here for a friggin'. Go away, explodey barrel. I could use a, um. Ooh. Ow. I'm still alive somehow. Okay, I'm gonna try to hit his horn from over here. Yeah, I was tr I was aiming for that. Got it! Hey. We did it! No. Oh my. Oh, lady. The vines holding the sleeping princess began to untangle and withdraw. What is happening? Am I alive? Rosie! The amazed heroes saw Rosabel fall down into the underground lake. Isabel dived after the sinking shadow of Rosabel. After a moment, Isabel returned carrying her sister. Thank you for freeing me, heroes. Pleased to meet you, Lady Princess. If only the circumstances could be more cheerful. Rosie, she was always very stubborn. Can we get you anything? A towel? I, I just want to go home. I'm afraid your castle lies in ruins. Not to mention you've some grave issues with your plumbing. How are we going to get out of here? The portals are all gone now. Just then, the trine appeared and shed its golden light around the cavern. The light grew warmer and brighter, wrapping everyone with an invisible blanket of comfort and safety. The cavernous tunnel vanished from their sight. The trine brought our heroes back to the very forest where the wizard and the knight had met at the beginning of the journey. We did what we set out to do. Our kingdom is safe, and the forest has turned back to normal. How did we do that? It was Isabel's magic that affected the forest. Now that she's free, the balance has been restored. No! I forgot to bring that magic water with me for the potatoes. Here, I have a whole skin full of magic water. Zoya, you're a decent sort after all. It'll cost you five gold. What? You already got a crown today? <laughs> the three heroes spent the night talking of the great adventure before they headed back home. So the princess and the pumpkins had been rescued, and the great adventure drew to a close. Uh, the end? You wish. We've got a surprise. Uh, ho, uh, ho, goblins are afoot. On a dark and fateful night, Sinister figures stirred in the woods surrounding Amadeus's cottage. No sign of that thrice darned husband anywhere. Won't mess up our plans this time. Let me tell you a little story that reveals more about the goblins we last encountered in the wilderness. As the goblins were doing their dark work, our three valiant heroes were returning home from their quest. Amadeus, Pontius, and Zoya, heroes of the Trine, had come back at last after a long journey across distant lands. I suppose our story doesn't end there. Well, mine does. Well, yours does, because 
your apparently your complete story isn't actually complete. You know, I don't think this happened last time we played this game. That was probably before the merger, then. Then how did you get the DLC? I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad that fight went a lot easier on us than it went last time. Yeah. I don't know what happened last yeah, time. Yeah, I don't know what happened last time. I, I think there weren't safe spots. Like, maybe they made it so you could, like, jam yourself in a corner and not die. <laughs> But that was Trine 2, that was the entirety of the regular story, and as we can see here, at least on my end, it's now dipping into the DLC levels, where it talks about the goblins a fair bit. I forget what exactly this DLC is titled, what the goblin story goblin. is referred to, goblin and Goblin Bay? Menace. Goblin Menace? Yes. So, um... I don't know. I, I'd want to give it a try. I've never seen any of this before. We just gotta get you a thing. <laughs> so until next time, everyone, there's still more trying to for us waiting. <laughs>